burst of energy from but I have literally just landed like two hours ago from my flight from New York I think I'm just really happy to be home it was a really amazing trip which you're gonna see at the end of this video and I'm, yeah I was really happy to be home probably jet lag as well and I've had a lovely shower a uh, beautiful day here the birds are singing I hope it's not too loud so the reason why I wanted to film this video so eagerly is because it was the perfect opportunity to show you a before and after. You're going to see it the first part of this video. Um, and I was so eager to have to use this product. I thought, oh, I'll just show it at the end of the vlog. But I didn't want it to get lost because it's such an important thing, amazing product that I want to, to share with you. Um, and then I thought, I'll actually do the video that I've been planning all along. So. This video is the New York vlog. I'm going to be asking you opinions on uh, my next new handbag, so do let me know in the comments. But I'm also going to show you the makeup look that I do when I'm traveling, when I'm on holiday. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you'll know, I'll put up my Instagram here, you'll know that I've just returned home from the Seychelles. I did the same holiday skin makeup, very quick, not very light makeup. Did the same makeup, did the same makeup in New York. And there was one thing that I forgot on both trips and I feel like my makeup looks a lot better today because of that. So let's get into it. The best part of this video is I am showing you some of my absolute favorite go-to pieces of makeup. I have a two week rule when it comes to sharing beauty products with you so that I can really get to use them. But in this video, I have used everything for years not even a year, years. They are my absolute favorite products. Apart from one thing that's fairly new, but I've had it much longer than two weeks. So they're all Claire's favorites, basically. Um, they're quite affordable, they're luxury products, but in the more reasonable price packet, uh, bracket. But because I'm uh, showing you everything from Cold Beauty, I have the most incredible 20% off discount code, and normally, I never get given a 20%. I normally get given 10, possibly 15. A lot of websites offer you like 10 or 15, but it's very rare to get 20% off. That's why I wanted to show you everything all in one video. There's a minimum spend, but that'll be in the description box below, and it's a very reasonable minimum, minimal spend as well. So let's get into the video, because I'm so excited about this. So, so excited. It even looks exciting, doesn't it? Um, so, you will all know that I am a sheet mask girl. I swear by sheet masks. I have such dehydrated skin, I have really sensitive skin, so, such dry skin, and you, the skin prep before doing your makeup makes all the difference, hence why I think my makeup looks a lot better today. Um, and I just think it really hydrates and the whole idea of a mask, it stays on the, it stays on the skin. It's not like just a serum where you rub in, although that is important as well. Um, I'm also someone who swears by, um, like cold treatments, even as basic as putting spoon, metal spoons in the fridge. You hold them there. Uh, eye mask, I had, I've stolen my mum's, like, eye mask like this, this just the eyes, not a very good one at all from a drugstore. It's really old, it was quite affected, effective. So when I saw this, I thought, wow, that looks impressive. I thought it was one of them like electronic, electronic ones, but the price is so reasonable. I thought, let me try this. It's incredible. It's so incredible. It's incredible for all of the obvious reasons. All you need to do is pop this in the freezer. They say 30 minutes, but I have put it in for less than that, but today I did 30 minutes. It is a really, like, the perfect time. Um, it feels glorious on your skin. It does everything that you imagine, like, the cold touch to do. But because it's, it's even under the chin, it's on the cheekbone, under the eye, on the forehead, it has these pinpoints 
you can move these around and then you massage it into your face. Now it does all of the, it, it makes my skin firmer, it reduces any redness, it does it like smoother, firmer, everything you expect it to do. So I love it just at that. However, you all know I really, really struggle with my eczema and when I'm tired, when I'm stressed, it comes out. So on the way back from the plane, I started itching, I was all a bit red and I was dying to put this on. I put it on as soon as I got back, I put it in the freezer, I had a shower, come out, it was ready. Um, and it, like this, no product, no cream, the redness went, the soreness went. This is one of my, like, everything, and the price is so, so good. I just really regret that I didn't take this to New York with me. It's never not coming anywhere with me from now on. Because the birds are literally singing, maybe because it's Easter Monday. Um, so easy to put on, works for any skin type and for the price and you just use it all the time. It's super effective if you use a serum underneath. So I use the Charlotte Tilbury. Did I tell you this is Charlotte Tilbury? Um, one of my favourite brands, totally one of my favourite brands. Um, I literally spend a fortune at Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and I love their magic cream. So everything I'm showing you, you can buy at Cult Beauty. Um, I'll tell you how I discovered Cult Beauty actually. Um, whenever I'm typing in something like, I don't know, um, latest trend lipstick color, or I want to get a certain lipstick or mascara, it always came up at Cult Beauty. So that's how I was attracted and discovered Cult Beauty. They have everything from skincare to self tanner, to makeup, Another thing that I love about Cult Beauty is it feels a bit like an online magazine. I can go there and get lots of inspiration. There's like a trend tab. They have the Cult Concierge. Go check it out. It's um, like a whole online team where you can ask for advice. It's actually unique and very, it's incredible and very unique, I meant to say. Um, and one thing that I love reading online magazines about beauty, so I'm just looking up there for the time. Um, I love online and seeing what the trends are, where special discounts, but then I kind of, I'm a quick shopper, so going to the different places, I sometimes get a bit impatient with, whereas Cult Beauty, I can go there for the advice, I can see what the trends are, they have every, all the brands that I love, they always do incredible discounts, there's like a newcomer discount, you can use my discount, which is bigger than the newcomer one. Um, and then anything that they've got going on, I can get it all in one place. So it's absolutely incredible, has all of my favorite brands. So that's the first thing, I recommend it. Fight like daily, just to like, especially if you're not wearing any makeup, just to give you that zhuzh. And you can tape it on, it's Velcro, you can go about doing your day. The chin part is just everything. Paris always steals this as well, and so does my mum. I'm definitely going to get my mum one. Amazing. Okay, the next, uh, this is very heavy Charlotte Tilbury and Benefit because they're two brands that I've been buying for the most part of my beauty journey. It's like, they're luxury brands, but the price point for these two brands are really incredible. Um, so watch, I need to do it in the order. So concealer, uh, what was it eyebrows I started with? Eyebrows. So if you watch my videos, you know that I'm obsessed with eyebrow products. I've worked hard to get my eyebrows back because I was raised in the 90s where I basically had no brows. It took a long time to get them back. Um, and I've experimented a lot. And because I'm quite fair, it's quite hard to get the balance right in terms of colors and product. I used to not even over pencil them, but there's so many products where you can lose your hair and your brows, you have to be so careful. So I feel like I've nailed the eyebrow genre. Now this is one of my absolute favorites. I actually discovered uh, Brow Cheat on uh, Cult Beauty when I was just picking up a few of my go-to pieces and I just thought, okay, I'm here. And I just added it in the basket and I can just get everything cool at once, you know? So this is Color Taupe. Um, and sometimes coat can be a bit uh, like khaki, but this taupe is amazing. I can do this so quickly and it's waxy, it's not like a pencil. So you can use it very lightly. The spoolie brush, um, is they're amazing on Benefit and Charlotte Tilbury. And it's my favorite if I'm just using a pencil and not using like a brush. So really recommend this product. There's also other colors, but Brow Cheat, Brow Cheat is absolutely incredible. 
Next, um, concealers. I've got two favourite concealers, both uh, one Charlotte Tilbury, one Benefit. It just so happens that all of my, some of my favourite pieces, uh, products are from these two brands. So I always use one on my eyelid. I've got brown, um, like a brown tone to my eyelids and it always acts like a primer to your eyeshadow. So the Magic Away by Charlotte Tilbury. I'll put all of the colours, by the way, below. Um, and then the benefit I tend to use like to highlight and it really does make a difference when you, you know, put it on the, on your cupid's bow, below the cheekbone, it really pops. But I find that it's, I've done a lot of experimenting and these textures are, they're just perfect. This is great for around the eyes. It's very light. It doesn't go in all the creases. This is a little bit more heavy. So it really gives that to around my cheekbone. Love them. You're going to love these two products. Um, eyeshadows. I think eyeshadow is one of the top makeup products that I get asked from you all the time. So here you're going to find out what my absolute go-tos are. And they're a mix between both Charlotte Tilbury um, and I, like just to disclaim, I have been worth and, uh, buying Charlotte Tilbury and Benefit since I was a teenager. So it is a true love for me. And I don't know about you, I'm sure you're going to agree with me. Isn't it so much better and easier just getting all of your makeup brands in one place and your makeup and skincare in one place. And then once you've found somewhere you love, you then need to find somewhere that has good prices, good shipping, and a discount code. So that's why I really recommend that you just get everything from Colt Beauty today and use that discount code. So this is um, Easy Eye Palette from the Darling Look. And these are all metallic looks. There's a couple of matte, which I love. So you could get away with just having this one. And then this is the Super Nudes. Obviously, love super nudes. This one is more matte, and I love actually a black eyeshadow. Like for the evening, I would keep this eye look. This is more of like a holiday natural glow look and a spring summer look for me. And if I was going out in the evening, I would add the brown eyeshadow above my eyeliner lash, the lash line. And then I always, up here, like where you'll see, I was using the darker tone. Um, and then it has the light colours for the inside. If you want to add like a summery glow, add the metallics. So these are my two go-to. And I also love that they both have mirrors. Really, really recommend. They look similar, but they actually produce completely different results. Um, I have to recommend the Precise Extreme Preci Precision Liner by Benefit. I didn't use it today because this is all about a summer look, but I have to tell you about that because it is amazing if you want a very precise, fine liner. Okay, mascara. The most incredible mascaras. I have been using this for years. I love my mascaras and I get through this like wildfire. So I actually recommend getting maybe maybe two of these where you can get the 20% discount. But this is a tinted primer. If you haven't used a tinted primer before, trust me and invest into a primer. They look great on their own. It just separates the lashes. It, with the eyelash curlers, it makes it stay in place and it's actually a very natural look. It doesn't look like you've got mascara on. Then you apply the mascara, and yes, you're, you're investing into two products, but one, this will last longer because you don't need as many coats, but your mascara will go on 200 times better. Try it. You'll, you'll think, why did I never use a primer before? I, I have never looked back since using a primer, and as I say, you can use it on its own. Um, so you'll see the difference. I normally put my primer on and then I'll go back to doing the rest of the skin. I, I let it dry. And this mascara is incredible, incredible. Bad girl bang and it's waterproof. So really great for a holiday look. Um, I love waterproof mascara anyway, but really important for a holiday. This just glides on afterwards and you can see the results. Everything I'm doing is quite light. There was only one coat of primer, one coat of mascara, and that's what I normally have in the summer, what I have for my holiday look. When I'm on press trips, like or a business trip, like I've just been on, it has to be a very quick on-the-go look. When I'm on holiday, I actually don't want to spend ages doing my makeup. So I make sure I have good quality products. I also don't want to pack lots and lots either. So I hope that this gives you some inspiration of some key products that you can use to condense your like, travel and summer makeup and also save money too. 
Um, so I think last, all we've got to do is the lipstick. So there's two lipsticks. Um, I've left the other one over there, but I will link it below because you'll see in the video I did use two. Uh, I love Pillow Talk. I've actually got the Pillow Talk lip liner on. And sometimes I just, you know, pick up a lip liner and a lipstick here and there. But just be smart when you can get hold of a huge 20% discount. Just kind of stock up on everything that you need. So this is Catwalk In, and I love the texture of Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like it's very matte but very moisturising. And they just know how to do a good nude. They also know how to do a good, like, orange lip. I think it's something Laura. Amazing. I'll try and find that and link it for you. So I have the lip liner. I often just wear a lip liner on holiday in the summer as well because it's just a bit more of a lighter look. I then apply the lipstick all over and then I'll put a lighter one in the middle just to create some depth. So that's all. It is a very simple, summery travel look. Um, I got carried away with my makeup travelling. And it was just, the bag was like this. So I was like, no, what has happened? Let me really go for all of the makeup that I love. I wanted to film this as well because everything is fresh. I've had everything, like, I think I've probably had over 100 hulas in my life. And I always go back to this shade as well. And I love that it's quite compact. And you can take it out. It is the perfect matte bronzer, isn't it? Like, who doesn't know hula? Uh, and if you've forgotten about it, just, just you, you need another one. So everything was all fresh and lovely to show you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the reel that I, that I shared with you at the beginning where you can see me apply everything. I will link absolutely everything that I've used below in the description box. You will have all the terms and condition of the discount code, which are very reasonable. There's no hidden secrets or anything or any surprises. There'll be the 20% off discount code, there'll be all the products. I might even see, um, like list some of my skincare, favorite skincares, especially like the magic cream that I mixed in with the mask. I think I'll share a couple of other bits as well. Maybe like my favorite self tanner um, and a few other bits, but everything will be in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Don't forget to use that discount. It does have an expiry date, which is, uh, is sometime next week. So it is only out for a short time, but that will all be in the description box below. So I will leave you with the New York vlog. I've literally, as I told you, just got back. Uh, so watch it. And at the end, because I'm completely all over the place in this vlog. So the next bag that I think I want to get, it's either the red classic flap Chanel, a red Kelly, or the, the vintage logo bag that I have at the end, which will be a complete surprise. You're either going to love or hate that. So do let me know. Or, or, or a really bright Birkin, which I can't believe that I'm even saying that, but I used one in the video. It sold straight away like everything always does at Luxury Promise. Uh, but please let me know because I really wanted to buy something from the trip and I couldn't decide which one. So have a look at the vlog, let me know which one you think I'm going to buy, and then I'm going to listen to the majority vote because I don't know which one. I'm sorry, I'll leave you with that vlog. Anything that I'm wearing in this next part of the video will all be in the description box below. I'll quickly show you my outfit now, actually. Um, this is going to be in a haul in my next video, but I have this beautiful Prada shirt, which is such an amazing summer vibe. I can wear it as a dress, I can wear it with shorts. It's a really lightweight, like, chambray denim. I have my jeans that I just absolutely live in. I literally wore these every day in New York, um, and I wore these every day on my Seychelles holiday. So I'll link them below, but do follow me on Instagram, do subscribe to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll see you on Instagram, but for now, enjoy New York. Okay. Oh, nay! Where have you gone? Oh. Hello there! Hello there! Money's can see you! I can see you, honey boo boo face! No, he's got money in his pocket! Are you gonna go shopping? Oh, you can yeah, you can tip people. Bye, honey! No, no, not in the water, not in the food either. <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another vlog, all the way from New York. <coughs> so, what's been happening? 
Oh, there's two helicopters going. Let me show you the view. Really, really amazing view. Which is always the trick in New York because the rooms are so small and it's spring break. It's Easter weekend. Uh, but I recommend this hotel actually. I've stayed in quite a few hotels. Um, I think it was like Bleecker or something, which I really liked. Hudson's pretty good hotel. Conrad, I think, has really big rooms for the, for the money. This is the Nomo. It's in Soho. So it's very small. I won't show you too much because... Well, it's not that much of a mess, it's just it's small, so it looks a mess. Um, but I can put my suitcase on the floor, which I've had a hotel in New York where you can't do that. It's got a little wardrobe, so I recommend it. Uh, weather is amazing. I am making my way to the... I'm here with Luxury Promise, and I am here mainly as like my creative director role. Um, but of course, I'll be sharing it with you as well. Um, so I'm making my way to the hotel where we do all the live shows i'm filming today i have a photo shoot today and then the rest of we start the day off with a meeting actually we've got lots of meetings uh, lots of logistical stuff with other influencers but let me show you my outfit um i love this cardigan it's just such a go-to it's like a coat um silk scrunchie just packed these knitted leggings last minute I hate the electric blue carpet in this room. I don't know why they did that. Um, my sliders that I've just got. So I'm very casual, but um, it's mainly like a lot of meetings and things today, but I've done my hair and makeup because I'll be doing a live show. Uh, so yes, Luxury Promise are launching in the US, which is absolutely mega news, especially for a company that's as young as Luxury Promise. Um, I hope you're watching our live shows. So I'm going to make my way to um, the hotel. I'm going to get like a latte or something on the way. And then we'll have a meeting and hopefully someone will go for lunch with me or brunch with me. So um, I've got all my outfits packed in my case, which I'm actually really loving this. It's a really practical case and it's nice and light. Um, and off we go. Let's go and explore New York. So we are just shooting at the Brooklyn Bridge. It's very noisy. I've actually never been here before. Um, it's really busy, but amazing. I'm shooting this Chanel suit. I've got Armando here. Yeah. Armando, say something Hi. Spanish. How are you? Say something Spanish. Buenos días a todos, estamos aquí en Nueva York en el punto de Brooklyn grabando un par de vídeos para Luxury Promise. Oh, you said we're at the Brooklyn Bridge for with, Luxury Promise. With Luxury Promise, we are making a reel and everything good. <laughs> <laughs> He's a natural. Um, first time I'm wearing these, absolutely love them. Uh, I think we've got a pair available at Luxury Promise actually. Uh, this is not my bag, but you guys know I already have this. We have about 10 of these in stock um if anyone wants one of these it is the most beautiful day in new york like it makes me want to live here we're all loving it it's just amazing um so yeah shot here we're gonna go to a couple of other locations and we're just shooting all day long really bts behind the scenes girls no es culpa de Dios, pero tampoco culpa al diablo. Mucho lo que hago, pero poco lo que hablo de eso. Si cada año no vamos en retroceso, cuando en la vida se le ha puesto más de un precio, así es como me siento en estos momentos. Es un sentimiento que no puedo describir, solo lo sé sentir. Promesas que solo están en la cabeza. Pero no cambiar el destino Hacerlo realidad es nuestro deber Y por ahora esto es nuestro asunto Estamos en esto juntos Ya no quiero más Hi everyone, it's my second full day in New York. I still can't get over this view, it's absolutely incredible. Um, sorry that I'm only doing catch-ups in, um, in the hotel room, but it's been so full on. I'll put up a picture here. Um, everyone was laughing at me because it was raining. The weather's been out of this world incredible, but it was raining a little bit and I had these on. Can you see them? And I didn't want to get them wet, so I put on my Prada shoes because I had them in my bag for a shoot, and I looked absolutely hideous. Um, 
and it was at the end of the day I'd had like 50 outfits on and I just did not care uh, we went out for a dinner last night my friend Victoria surprised me I know a lot of you probably follow her she doesn't have YouTube but her Instagram is all things Victoria we've been friends for I was gonna say two years but it's actually longer than that time just flies by when you're older and she's someone that I never thought that this would happen but she's literally one of my best friends even though she lives in America and actually like we speak every day but actually we spend like real quality time with each other because we'll meet up in other countries I met her twice in London we went to Paris together now New York so actually spending a few days with someone as an adult and as a mum you don't get to see your friends that much anyway like even in the live in the same country so we actually spend quite a lot of quality time together and I was saying to her I can't believe you're not coming she lives like I describe it as like suburbs of New York so like although she's not in New York it's her state and she was in Miami and she told me she couldn't come and I was like I can't believe you're not coming and then she came to dinner last night and I was in total shock like when I actually when I found out the gender of Honoré I was in total shock and everyone thought I was disappointed and it's the same look last night like there's a video and I'm just like that for a good two minutes and I think it must be my shock face that I looked disappointed but I was far from disappointed I was so happy I got up so early, we're going to go for brunch, it's like not even 9am, we're going to go for brunch, um, then just do the normal luxury promise duties, lots of shooting, um, lots of like shooting all the other girls because there's quite a big team here, um, a live show of course, and um, probably more shooting this evening, or everyone goes out in the evening except for me because I, I like literally don't have the energy. Um, let me just show you my outfit. Um, loving these sliders they're just so comfy uh, my absolute favorite jeans the prouder ones can you see yeah they're just so comfy and you'll be really pleased to know I'm using this bag today and how nice does it go with the nautical stripes um, you'll be very pleased to know that I have got a new high street brand it's not new at all but it's um they have the best t-shirts and this is like a thick heavyweight jersey so it's like sweatshirt material um and i'm going to pack that in my bag and then i'm going to wear that later on today and this baby blue t-shirt is also from them um i'll link them below obviously price is amazing where it's high street but definitely check these out um i actually might wear i'm going to wear this one today oh, that, how funny that's my alarm to wake up um, and I'm already ready and out the door at half eight. Um, look at my little bubbly face. Love him so much. Um, we won't talk about that because I'll start crying. Uh, so yeah, actually, I'm going to wear this today with that. Um, and then I'll pack a blue t-shirt to change. And then I'm going to wear my beloved vintage blazer. We still have one more of these in stock, actually. We had three. Um, and there's one left. So I'll try and find the link below. But it's just outstanding. Like everyone comments on it. It's just out of this world. Um, I will try and vlog today, especially because I'm having a couple of hours with Victoria. Then we're going to go to Central Park. Um, I think I'll put up a couple of pictures whilst I'm talking. I'll maybe, yeah, I'll show you a couple of pictures. Like the stock here is out of this world. Um, the yellow cardigan, I picked it up as soon as I went into the stock room. And like there's rules I can't just buy something straight away like everyone has to have a chance and I think that no one's buying it it's been here for like two weeks so I'm hoping I can get that today um so yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna go um go meet Victoria I was so sad of leaving Honoré um like even on my selfie picture on the plane like everyone said I looked sad and I was so sad and I'm just so happy that she's here so yeah let's go we are Mado where are we going Central Park. Victoria. What bag have you got today? What bag do I have today? I have this stunning classic orange 28. I have rose azale. Isabel, what do you have? I have a little Birkin 25. None of them are ours, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we know of. Yeah. I don't know. Dream big. We just come back from Central Park. And we were going for a Starbucks, but we can't help to shoot everywhere we go. Victoria's got on like this cardigan that I've got. Look how good. It's available. Look at 
the legs, look at the legs. Sé que ya no quiero más. I have been so terrible at vlogging. I'm one of those people that's really, really bad with jet lag. And I think this one is even worse because I was jet lagged from Seychelles. I probably already told you this. Um, three hours sleep, went to France. Next day flew to New York. No, two days later I flew here, I think. Um, so I'm like, I'm triple exhausted. And it's normally press trip to like two days. This is pushing six and I'm working, so it's very intense. Um, so I'm not vlogged as, as much as I'd like to. I've not been like on the streets and like had getting brunch and things like that. But it's been another kind of amazing, like a really amazing experience. Um, and always grateful for experiences like this. I'll remember it forever. Like I'm just walking through Central Park. I, you don't want to see my face, let me show you. It's like a movie, look at this. Weather has been just, like perfect the whole time um new york just looks amazing i'm doing a lot of walking today we just shot some content for luxury promise and now i'm gonna have lunch with karen a lot of you probably already know karen uh, and her youtube channel you'll meet her in a minute um, i'm a bit nervous getting myself from a to b we end up at the wrong restaurant but yeah just checking in i'm leaving tomorrow and um, I'll try and show you as much as I can and I've probably not shown you enough. Hi everyone, it's my last day in New York. I'm really unwell today. Uh, I actually started three days, two days ago. Did not feel well yesterday. And then after the live show, because like two hours talking, it's quite, um, that takes a lot of energy and I, I was, I thought I was gonna pass out at the end, honestly. Um, so I went to bed at 8 o'clock, everyone went out for dinner, which I was quite disappointed that I didn't go for my last dinner in New York, but I was had no energy, I feel like a bit run down. I think because I was jet lagged from Seychelles, then I went to France, and then I went straight here, and I'm old. <laughs> um, but thankfully, I feel so much better than yesterday, but now I've just got like earache, sore throat, not roller symptoms. Um, but I'm going to make Sabrina now for brunch. Weather is so nice again. It's like my favourite. Well, I mean, it is really early, but it's um, like crisp, like early spring. Like sunny, but a bit chilly. Um, I've ended up just putting my airport outfit on because I can't be bothered to keep getting changed. I'm so tired. I've just left like... I hope nothing bad happens, but I just gave my luggage to the lobby guy. And I've got like Gucci monogram suitcase full of Hermes bags and my jumbo Chanel and I just gave it to him. So let's hope that all goes to plan. I should have left it in one of the other girls' rooms, but I don't think they're awake. Let's wait for my taxi, gonna have a lovely brunch. Um, no live show today. Um, I'll be leaving like about early afternoon and I'm so excited to see on the way. It's getting to the point now where, um, oh my throat. It's getting to the point where it's actually hard to look at the pictures. I've never had that before. Can anyone else relate? Like, even if it's like a boyfriend or something. But yeah, for me, looking at the pictures, I instantly want to burst into tears. It's like, it's getting really difficult now. And it's Easter Sunday as well. But he's with all of the family. He's having um, an amazing Easter. So, not long. Like, literally, I'll see him tomorrow at 6am. I'm so, so excited. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go for brunch, try and vlog as much as I can today because my day's not as full on, so I might be able to vlog a little bit more. But yeah, that's my airport outfit and I've got my jumbo Chanel as well. I'm still waiting for my taxi, but you know what I just remembered? I didn't vlog Karen. There she is. And I was like, yeah, you're going to meet her. So um, we've spoken on Instagram before. Obviously she lives in New York, so... Um, and I had every intention to vlog, but we hit it off straight away, which I'm like an extrovert introvert. I'm actually quite shy and people, I, I would even go as far as saying people get disappointed when they meet me because I'm so reserved in real life. Oh, there's a man in that car, I didn't realise he's watching me. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm like, I can turn it on for work. 
to be very shy and very quiet in real life and people get very shocked by that. Um, we come across really confident and we can be confident but we're like the most shyest people so we sh I felt straight away so comfortable with her. We got along so well, we had such a nice lunch and um, oh look at that building, how beautiful that is. Like the one with all the arch windows and so look at all someone's shirts lined up. That is a really really nice building. Um, anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'm sorry I didn't vlog her. Hopefully you got to see the live show. Um, she comes to London and I, I do come to New York like, I used to come like probably once a year, once every other year. So I'm sure we'll meet again and I'll vlog next time. But yeah, that was all I wanted to tell you. Yeah, no quiero más. We just had brunch. Um, this is Grace. Amado. Hey. <laughs> that was very high. <laughs> I always make uh, Amado speak Spanish on the um, Instagram. So for the Spanish viewers. Nuestro último día en Nueva York. He can't help the hands, look. We desayunamos hoy huevos con bacon. Are you y ahora vamos a trabajar. <laughs> I love the hands. Grace, what have you got to say? I don't Grace want to go home, it's all I have to say. These two are moving here, they love it. Yeah. Grace, what did you do at Luxury Promise? So I am head of retail, so I help with sales, I love to help Claire with content, um, I do some buying, authentication. And Grace is super young <laughs> and she's an inspiration for young oh. girls because she's, she does so much at such a young age. Oh, Amanda is the only guy, <laughs> yeah. we drive him mad. We talk, like yesterday I walked into the room and there was Tampax everywhere yeah. <laughs> and we were all in Amado's room, the poor guy. I have two sisters, it's not an issue. <laughs> oh that's why you're alright about it. Yeah. We talk about engagement rings. Yeah. Poor guy. Them, God, Amado has so many secrets I reckon about that. <laughs>